we will get cracking on that. Let's begin lying on our back for class. However you find most comfortable. Take a moment to settle into this space, allowing yourself to arrive both physically and mentally. Just feeling the ground beneath you, the connection to the earth. Start to let go of any grip or hold or tension that you have in your body. And you start to soften, to relax. If your arms are resting beside you, go ahead and turn your palms to face up and really allow your shoulders to roll open. And broaden yourself across the chest. Imagine that you had a tennis ball just nicely nestled between chin and chest. Keeping that in a neutral position and then feel the crown of your head reach to the back of your mat to really lengthen out the spine. If your legs are out long here, just let your feet become really heavy. Just let them splay open to the sides. If you have your knees bent, feet grounded, just make sure that your hip flexors aren't gripping to hold that space. And same goes if you're in a hip opener with soles of feet together and knees open, just make sure that those, the hip joint region isn't clenching on to hold you here. Let's go ahead and close the eyes, which will allow us to go a little bit more inward, bring more focus to the self, to help create a nice mind-body connection. We'll do that by implementing the breath. So just begin to notice your inhales and your exhales. Just kind of feeling the way in which your breath moves in and out of your body. Maybe you start to build a rhythm to your breath creating a fluidity too. Notice the sound of your breath. Maybe feeling that subtle movement in, in your body just due to the breath alone. Maybe it's only a slight rise and fall of your belly or your chest. So just starting to bring attention towards the little nuances that we don't often notice. These subtleties, the breath being so vital to us being here, but one of the things that we don't really need to pay attention to because it's just there for us. But how can we find a way to tap into the breath so that we can build up its quality, right? Improve its depth so that can really focus on using the full capacity of your lungs. So with that, begin to just slow your breath down. Taking nice deep belly breaths in, lifting it up all the way into the chest. Then as you exhale, let the breath just kind of naturally spill out of the body flowing all the way down to the lower belly region. Okay, a nice deep breath in, fill from belly up to ribs, then into that chest. And then letting the breath spill out again, but this time once it starts traveling to the belly, start to push that last bit of air all the way out so that you can empty completely. Taking a nice inhale, allow the ribs to really expand out to the sides, filling up your lungs. And start to squeeze the breath out all the way from the beginning and feel the ribs knit, pull, and draw back to your midline as you squeeze that breath out, right? Thinking of your torso like an accordion. 
taking nice light easy inhales but more forceful audible exhales bring lots of power with your release and then notice how that changes your powerhouse or midsection light easy inhales the belly rises it's relaxed but then when you force the breath out, feel your abdominal muscles firming up, lower belly drawing down deeply. Stay here for the next few moments with this breath. Now focusing on kind of building up that relationship between your breath and core. They do work hand in hand. We're not used to breathing like this, so Finding that pattern now so that when we start to uh, add in movement and exercise, that breath is almost going to be like second nature to you. Take four more cycles of breath. Pulling our abdominal muscles in even deeper each time you breathe out. As you get to that fourth round of breath, on the exhale, if you're not there already, you're going to begin to bend your knees and ground your feet to the floor. Once your feet have grounded, you're going to walk the feet open so they're a little bit wider than shoulder width and your knees will do the same. So you have a wide stance with your legs. And then you'll take your arms either out to a T, or if you're really close to an object, you can bend at the elbows and create cactus arms. But you do want to feel the backs of your shoulders really anchor to the floor so that you stabilize your upper body. On your next breath in, take both legs and lower them over towards the right side of your mat or workspace. And then on the exhale, firm that belly and lift the legs back up slowly to center. And let the legs gently lower to the left side on an inhale. Use your core strength on the exhale to pull the legs back to center once again. So you're going to continue this movement, linking it to your breath, a windshield wiper motion. The side to side movement is going to work on hip mobility, right? Stretching a bit into your hip flexors, also warming up your lower back. This is also a core exercise. So each time you exhale, make sure that breath out is powerful, that your core muscles are engaged, so that your abs do most of the work here and that your legs are just along for the ride. Take one more to each side. Big inhale to lower. Very strong, steady exhale to bring up the legs right back to center. One more time, breath in, legs lowering, and then firm belly, exhale, legs come back to center. Once your legs have centered, go ahead and heel toe the feet closer in. So now they're only hip width distance apart. Knees will also do the same. And then go ahead and rest your arms beside you. Take the right ankle across it over your left knee. Flex your foot, give that leg some life and then use the energy of that to push the leg away from your body, either using strictly leg strength or you can take your hand to the inside of the leg to press out. This is your figure four stretch focused on the outer hip. So any variation that you'd like to take here, you could lift your left leg up and hold that leg with both hands, maybe even draw that leg a bit closer to body. If choosing to hold that leg up, just drop the shoulders away from your ears. You could also offer movement here very slowly and gently rocking side to side. That just allows the stretch to travel a little bit. It might get a little bit more into the glute as well as the hip. But be, bleh, be very mindful of that movement, that it's slow and that you're focused on sensation. Then if you were in movement, coming back to still at center, gently release the stretch. We'll switch sides, left ankle over the right knee. Again, energy out through the heel of the foot, pushing the leg away to create a little bit more space to that outer hip region. Coming again to any variation that feels best for you. 
movement if you'd like, stillness if you'd prefer. But if choosing movement again, make sure it's very slow, methodical, and mindful. That you breathe into that left hip. That you're focused on how it feels and how it may change depending upon. Let's take one more breath in. And then on the exhale, if you are in movement, you're coming back to still and you're releasing the stretch, taking both feet back to the floor again, making sure that the feet land hip bone width distance apart. Take the hands now, interlace the fingers and bring your hands behind your head, cupping the bottom of the skull right before your neck begins and then lifting your elbows to the sky so that your arms are really closely framing the head and cradling it. We're going to use our arms here for this next one, supporting the head while we stretch the back of the neck. So take a deep breath in here, arms in close. On your exhale, use your hands to lift just the back of head and back of neck off ground. Bring your chin down to your chest. So this is a very small lift. Let the head be kind of resting in your hands. We'll stay here for a breath in. And then on the exhale, let that head gently come back down to the floor. So what you want to be focused on is stretching into the back side of your neck. Take another breath in. Again, exhale, let the head be heavy as you lift it up with your hands. Bring the chin down to your chest. Breathe into that back side. And then exhale, gently release head back to the floor again. We'll do that once more, breath in. Exhale, head and neck come up, chin comes into chest. We're gonna stay here lifted. Now continue to use your hands for guidance and make sure the arms stay close. You're just on an inhale, gonna turn your head very slightly over to the right. And then on your exhale, turn it to the left. Continue this kind of back and forth rotational movement. Take your time. Just getting to different angles of the backside here. One more to the right. One more to the left. Bring the head back to center, and then gently release it down to the floor again. You're going to keep your hands behind your head. You're now going to widen the elbows, reach from wall to wall. Take a nice breath in here. Keep now your chin neutral. As you exhale, lift up head, neck, and now the shoulders. Come up towards shoulder blades. Look down to your navel. Lower back down on an inhale. Now we're using... Core strength, no arms, no neck. Exhale, lower belly pulls in and you peel up slow to the tips of shoulder blades, arms actively drawing back. Lower down on an inhale. We're just gonna do four more of these to warm up our core. Exhale, peel up and as you lift, make sure your tailbone grounds to the floor. You keep your pelvic bowl neutral. Come down on an inhale. Three more times, exhale, push the air out, force it out, look towards the navel, keep your neck long. Lower, breath in, we'll do two more here. Exhale, navel draws down to spine, pull up slow, elbows opened. Lower, breath in. One more time, exhale, peel it up, stay lifted, release the hands, arms come beside you to a hover, firm the arms up, begin to pump the arms, keep everything else, very still. Inhale steadily, exhale with some power. Okay, for five, four, three, two, one, and then slowly release back to the ground again. Take a deep breath in and a long breath out. Good. From here, draw the right knee into your chest and then the left knee into your chest. We do one leg at a time to just support our lower back. Arms can continue to stay close by your side. If you feel like you want more support or stability, arms will come out to T or cactus the arms. Or if you want a little bit more heat, you can go ahead and extend your arms uh, to the sky, stacked above your shoulders. Take a deep breath in here, the knees pulled in close. On the exhale, extend both legs away from your body. Lengthen out through your toes. Draw the knees back in again on an inhale. So when you extend your legs, exhale. For a modified version, you'll extend higher to the sky. For more intensity, the legs will be closer to the ground. Okay? Inhale, 
draw the knees in or anywhere in between with those legs. Yeah, so find one that works for you. Extend legs out and press your spine to the floor, engaging your ab muscles. Come back on and inhale. Let's take two more of these. Slow extension, so take the entire breath out to get to that lengthened space. Draw the knees in on an inhale. One more time, extend the legs out nice and long, keep them long, and then stack them above your hips, pulling them up. Then grab the back of your right leg with both hands, begin to lower your left leg towards the ground. And again, that level of lowering is totally up to you. Lower will be a little bit more intense. You can now continue to keep your head grounded or if you're wanting a little bit more heat, head and shoulders off the ground, eyes on navel. Hamstrings on an inhale, two pulses in with that right leg towards body. Switch the legs on your exhale, pulsing the left leg in twice. Breath in, exhale for switch. Continuing this movement here, taking your time though, be very mindful of your movement, right? The legs are moving, of course your hands and arms a little bit, but then everything else should be like a statue. If you start to find strain in your neck, if your head is lifted, taking the head back down, right? Redirect focus back to your core. We'll do this for five more seconds. Four, three, two, use that breath. One, good, then lift both legs to sky, draw the knees in. If your head was up, take it down for a moment, place your hands on your knees, and just rock gently side to side. And from side to side, just create a circular motion with your legs, both moving in the same direction. Take a moment to pause and reverse the direction. Big inhales, strong exhales. Good. Then bring the legs to still at center. Begin to now rock yourself forward and back, up and down the spine. Use a bit of your core strength here to increase this movement until you can rock up to seated. From there, cross the legs, hands to the floor in front of you. Transition into table top. Coming onto your hands and your knees. Make sure here that I am at center. Spread your fingers wide to support your wrists. Your knees are hip width apart, and then you're looking slightly forward to keep your spine really long. On an inhale, let your belly melt to the floor as your heart and tailbone reach to the sky. Feel that stretch in the belly. And then on your exhale, engage the core to pull the lower belly in and up as you round out your back and let your head fall between your arms. Cat and cow. Inhale, the belly relaxes, the heart and tailbone find lift, open across the heart space. On your exhale, hollow out your underside, push away from the ground with your hands, knees, and feet, rounding your back. We'll do two more here. Breath in, let the core relax. Draw the shoulder heads back slightly to really open up. And then on your exhale, pull that belly in and up, right? Scoop it out, round it out. Once more, breath in, find lift, feel the stretch. And then firm the belly in to round your spine. Exhale, push the breath away. From here, come back to a neutral spine. Once again, looking slightly forward. Make sure that you're lifted out of the arms and that you're not collapsing into them, right? You didn't sink in, you're rising up. Pull the belly in and up to support your back. Take a breath in. And then as you exhale, extend the right arm forward and left leg back. Flex your left foot and point the pinky toe straight down to the floor. Make sure that your left shoulder is still over its wrist and that your heart is stretched to the front of your workspace. Take another breath in. And then on the exhale, release the hand and knee back to the ground and making sure that your body weight didn't shift at all, right? We wanna keep everything nicely centered. Take another inhale. On your exhale, left arm forward and right leg back. And take your time to get here, right? We don't have to rush. If we rush, sometimes we throw our body off alignment and then we have to take the time to get back into it. How can you move and stay stacked, lifted, and lengthened? Take another inhale here. On the exhale, release the hand and knee back to the floor again. And then notice, did there seem to be a bit of a shift? How can we avoid that? Take another inhale. Exhale, extend right arm forward, left leg back again. 
Stay here on an inhale, nice and long. Now on your exhale, pull the elbow and knee together underneath you as you round your back, look down towards that left knee. Pull in and up. Then expand again, inhale, lengthen back out. Exhale, pull in, also pull up, right? Coil into a tight ball. Let's do two more, breath in, find your length through fingertips and heel. Exhale, use your core strength to hike the arm and leg in close to your body. One more time, expansion, inhale. Contraction, exhale, squeeze out that breath. Take one more big inhale to lengthen out again, one last time. This time on your exhale, hand and knee, back to the plank. We'll do the other side, inhale it, prepare body for movement, belly in and up. Exhale, left arm forward, right leg back, flex the foot. Hold here, inhale, heart forward. Exhale, coil into a ball. Expand, inhale, grow, lengthen out. Exhale, look down towards the leg as you pull it in, pull it up. Then look slightly forward again on your inhale, nice long body. And then exhale, round in, push the air out. Once more, inhale, reach away from center body, and then pull into center body on the exhale. Let's take it out long one more time, breathe in. Hand and knee to the floor, breath out. And from here, take your knees wide, let the big toes touch. Sit back to your heels. Start to walk the hands out towards the front of your workspace as you fold between your legs for child's pose. Keep your fingers spread, keep your hands shoulder width apart. Press the hands down into the floor, lift your arm bones off the ground and slide your shoulder blades down your back for space. Pull the belly in and up away from your legs. From our child's pose, begin to tuck the toes under and lift the hips to the sky, transition to downward facing dog. As you lift the hips, you'll feel your chest pushing back towards your thighs, your heels anchoring down towards the floor, even if they don't touch, and then pulling your lower ribs in towards the spine to firm the belly. With your next inhale, go ahead and look forward to the front of your workspace. And then on your exhale, walk your feet to your hands. Take as many steps as you like. I like to take a few extra right at the beginning to get a feel of the stretch behind me, right? The back body, forward fold here. On your inhale, take a halfway lift. In your halfway lift, shoulders come up to hip level, really lengthen out your spine and hug lightly between your shoulder blades, open your chest space. Exhale, fold, let go again, melt over the legs. On your breath in, you're going to come all the way to standing, grounding the feet, rising up, lifting tall, arms overhead. Grab your left wrist with your right hand, and then as you breathe out, stretch over to your right side. Inhale, stack up tall, release that wrist, grab hold the other. Give it a light pull as you stretch over to the left side, but keep your shoulders drawing away from your ears. Stack tall with your next inhale. Exhale, release the wrist. Dive forward over the legs. Take a halfway lift on an inhale. Come to plank position on the exhale. So your hands are going to ground down and you'll step back to structure. Make sure everything is engaged. Your legs, glutes, abs, chest, and arms. In our plank position, let's take four good solid push-ups. Find a level that will work for you. You can come to knees as well. Here we go. On an inhale, lowering downward as one solid piece. Exhale, push away. Again, as you come down, make sure your heart is landing between the hands, not your chin. Push it out. Two more times. Lower, squeeze those legs together. Squeeze your glutes. Exhale, push away from the ground. One more time. Looking slightly forward on the way down. Exhale, push it up. Take one more breath in here. And then as you exhale, lower down to the floor with arms hugged and close to your sides. Untuck your toes when you get here. Tops of feet to the floor. On an inhale, peel your head and chest off the ground. Shoulder blades hug in and slide down the back. Exhale, let it be down. Tuck your toes under as you breathe in. 
Downward facing dog as you breathe out. Hips are up, chest is back, heels are down, ribs are in. Let's do that again. Inhale, looking forward. Exhale, walk your feet to your hands. Halfway lift on an inhale. Remember your length and your openness across heart space. Fold as you breathe out. Back over the legs. Come all the way to standing on an inhale. Ground feet, stack up, roll up, lift the arms. Grab left wrist again with right hand. As you exhale, stretch to the right side. Get a little tug on that wrist. Stand tall, breath in, release that wrist, grab hold the other. Exhale over to the uh, left side. Side body stretch. Inhale, stack tall. Exhale, release the wrist, forward fold. Halfway lift on an inhale. Plank position on the exhale. Ground it down, step back to structure. Yeah, four push-ups. <laughs> on an inhale, bending elbows, lowering downward. And again, you can do this on your knees, right? Drive it away, exhale. Maybe even lift the feet off the ground, yeah. Breath in, coming down to a level that works for you. Exhale, drive it out. Two more, keep those fingers spread, grip the ground with your fingertips. Exhale, push it away. One last time, coming down, heart between hands, exhale, push it out. Good, hold your plank for another inhale, and then lower with arms hugged into the sides. As you come down, untuck the toes, tops of feet push in. On an inhale, peel up again to a low cobra. Exhale, let it release. Tuck your toes as you inhale, coming to downward facing dog on the exhale. Pushing up with hips, back with chest, down with heels, in with ribs. With your next inhale, take the right leg, slowly lift it up to the sky. On your exhale, pull the leg through, step up towards your right thumb, low lunge. Release the left knee to the ground and untuck the toes. Inhale, lift up, stack up, arms to sky. As you exhale, let the right knee and both hips glide forward. Feel the fingertips begin to reach to the back of your workspace, stretching into your left hip flexor. Take another breath in. And then on your exhale, use your core strength. Tighten up, pull knee back over ankle, shoulders over hips. Let's take the hands down to the inside of that right foot. Let's walk the right foot forward. Walk the hands forward as well, so we're back into that deep lunge. Walk your right foot out to the edge of your workspace. Recenter your hands. Turn your right toes out to about one o'clock, and then push the knee out, which will open up the hip more. On a breath in, another little push up. This time your elbows point straight back. And then on the exhale, push it away. This is outer hip opening, hip flexor stretch still. Come down again. You can need a little bit, nothing huge. Exhale, push it away. One last time, coming down, heart forward. Exhale, push it out. Hold here, arms straight. Heel toe that right foot back in, and then step your right hand beside it to frame the foot. Back toes curl, knee lifts up, low lunge. Low lunge, take a step back. Downward facing dog. Left leg will lift behind on an inhale. Step up and through, come into low lunge. Release the right knee to the ground, untuck the toes. Breath in, stack up, sweep up, frame the ears. Exhale, knee and hips glide forward, shoulders pull back, fingertips reach back, and heart lifts up, then the gaze lifts. One more breath in. Exhale, pull belly in firm and restack the body. Both hands come down to the inside of that left foot. We're gonna walk the foot forward a bit so that our hips can really glide to the front of our workspace. Hands follow. Walk your left foot over to the edge of your workspace and then recenter your hands so your body isn't crooked. Turn the toes out to about 11 o'clock. Press the knee out for more hip space. Elbows, roll them to the back side of your workspace here. Coming down on an inhale, little bend in the elbows, push away on the exhale. 
We're gonna limit to the triceps here, right? Coming down. So when elbows are hugged in close, we work more to the back side of the arms. One more time, coming down to a level that works for you. Back is long, right? Spine is long. Exhale, push it away. Heel toe that left foot back in enough so you can frame it with your hands. Back toes curl, knee comes up, low lunge. Low lunge, take a step back, downward facing dog. Hips high, chest back, heels down, ribs seal. You look forward on your next inhale. Feet to hands on your exhale so you can walk, jump, or float them there. Halfway lift on an inhale. Again, remember length and openness. Exhale, bend your knees, push the hips back, lift your heart up, extend the arms either directly in front of you or upward, coming into chair pose. So you wanna feel the weight in your heels here. You should be able to lift your toes up and wiggle them somewhat freely. Your heart is lifted so that it engages your core. If you're folded deeply over your legs, it's going to release the belly. So we want to have nice, strong abdominals here. Knees push out a little bit to activate outer hips, but also hug between your inner thighs. Here we are in chair. We're going to take this three pulses down. Pulse, pulse, pulse. Inhale, ground the feet, stand tall, lift your arms high to the sky. Again, sit back to chair, pulse back for three, two, one, ground down, rise, stand tall. Two more, exhale, push back for three, two, one, stand all the way upright, squeeze the buns. One more time, pulse back, three, two, one, breath in, stack tall, arms to sky. Good, interlace your fingers, take your hands behind your head. On an inhale, stretch over to your right. Now we use our core. Exhale, pull belly in firm, slowly stack back up. Stretch over to your left. On an inhale. Exhale, belly in, lift up again. Pause. Inhale, release the hands, extend the arms to the sky. Dive forward over the legs as you exhale. Halfway lift as you breathe in. Plank position as you breathe out, right? Hands come down and you step back to structure. No, we will not do any push-ups. Yeah, you're welcome. Okay, in your plank position, we're going to come down to the knees, untuck the toes. Then we're gonna to start to lower the right forearm down, then the left forearm down, and then the hips press to the ground and our heart comes up high, we're in sphinx pose. So making sure those elbows are directly underneath your shoulders, that your forearms are parallel to each other, that we haven't collapsed into our arms, we're lifting out of them. So push the forearms into the earth to lift your heart up, shoulder blades in and down our back. Let's point our toes here. Pull the belly in and up away from the floor. Starting with the right leg on an inhale, take two kicks in with heel to glute. Kick, kick, extend the leg back as you exhale. Breath in, left leg is gonna kick in twice. And then lengthen back. Continue to alternate. These are our single leg kicks from our Pilates practice. Notice here, as I'm kicking the one leg in, the rest of my body is like a statue. So you have to use upper body strength and core strength to stabilize so that you're not kind of moving around as the leg pulses in. Kick, kick, release. We're also activating those hamstrings. Let's do two more to the right, two more to the left. Good, one more each, keep pushing out of those arms, keep lifting up. Last one here, good, lengthen the leg back. From here, take your hands, slide them underneath your shoulders as you lower your head and chest to the floor. Tuck your toes under, press up and back to downward facing dog. So again, just kind of putting in some Pilates elements into a yoga kind of flow. Right leg on an inhale, lifting behind you. Exhale, step up towards right thumb. Make sure the knee is over ankle and then the back heel is really lifted off the ball, up, up, above the ball of the foot, if I could talk. On your next inhale, rise and stack shoulders over hips, arms to sky, high crescent lunge. Land here, so really feel your pubic bone zip to your navel, which will root your tailbone 
down to the floor. My back heel is lifted high, my back leg is strong, deep lunge in my front leg. From here, take your hands to your hips. We're going to get a little bit of movement here. On a breath in, you're going to bend your back knee and dip downward. On your exhale, you're going to push off your back foot, straighten out your right leg, and reach forward. Lift the back leg up. Step back. Bend the front knee. Bend the back knee. Dip down. Push off back foot. Straighten front leg. Take off to a warrior three. Squeeze your back glute. Come down again, bend the uh, back knee, dip down, take off. Yeah, a little bit of balance here, yeah. <laughs> Come down, dip, push off back foot, straighten right leg, lean forward, squeeze the glute. Let's re-bend the right knee, big step back with the left foot, back leg is still straight, shoulders over hips, back up into crescent lunge, extend your arms to the sky. From here, let's open into warrior two. Swivel your back heel in, open your hips to the left, and take your arms out to a T. So it's gonna look like this, yeah. So walk the front foot into center line, level your hips, stack your shoulders, arms are out, shoulders drop down. Good. From here, take your right leg and straighten it out. Ooh, it's a little slippy slidey here. Reach your right hand forward, but push both hips back until you no longer can. Hinge down, come into your triangle. So right arm is going to lower, left arm is going to naturally lift and stack above its shoulder. Use your core strength, pull belly in, bring shoulders back over the hips, look to the right hand, re-bend the right knee, warrior two. So we're going to go through that little pattern a couple more times. So breath in, straighten out your right leg. Breath out, right hand forward, both hips back. Inhale, hinge down, triangle pose. Exhale, pull back up, re-bend the knee. One more time, inhale, straighten the right leg out. Exhale, right hand forward, both hips push back. Inhale, hinging from hips, right arm lowers, left arm lifts. Use your core strength on the exhale to pull shoulders back over the hips. Rebend the right knee. Flip your front palm up on an inhale. Reach up and back. Reverse your warrior. Exhale. Windmill your hands down. Frame your front foot. Lift up your back heel. Low lunge. Low lunge. Take a step up. Come into forward fold. Halfway lift on an inhale. Again, long spine opens chest. Exhale, melt and release. On a breath in, come all the way to standing, ground your feet, stack back up, lift your arms to sky. Keep your arms here, exhale, just plug your shoulder heads into their sockets. I know you can't see my upper body, but that's okay, we'll get into this. Let's take the feet wide, little mini straddle, turn the toes outward slightly. Arms are still up, palms face forward, fingers spread, hands a little wider than shoulder width. Take a breath in. On your exhale, bend your knees, bend your elbows, dip down, got a squat. Stand tall again, straighten the legs, squeeze the glutes, extend the arms up. Exhale, knees bend, elbows bend, elbows pull down to shoulder level, knees glide over the toes. Nice vertically in the torso. Straighten the legs, inhale, squeeze the glutes, lift the arms. Two more of these, exhale into your got a squat. Stand tall, breath in. Again, exhale, knees bend, elbows bend. Elbows down to shoulder level, knees glide past toes. Let's stay here. Take your hands behind your head. Inhale. Exhale, take a side stretch over to the right. Stack tall, breath in. Exhale over to the left. Feel your side body muscles engaging, your obliques. Come back through center. Again, take a stretch to the right. Stack up tall, move nothing else here. Over to the left. Stack tall, inhale. One more each, back to the right. Cinch that side body in. Stand tall, breath in, or not stand tall, but stack tall. One more time, left side body crunch. Inhale, stack back up. 
On your exhale, straighten the legs, release the fingers, arms to sky. Turn the toes forward. Take another inhale here, lifted. On your exhale, dive forward over your legs. Heel toe the feet back inward so they're hip width distance apart. Take a halfway lift on an inhale. Plank position on the exhale. Hands ground down, step back to structure. Hold this structure, inhale. Lower to the ground, slow on the exhale. Untuck your toes, tops of the feet push down. Rest your left cheek onto the ground, looking over your right shoulder. Interlace your fingers, take them to your lower back. Bend the knee elbows. We did single leg kicks earlier. <clears throat> We're going to move into Pilates double leg kicks. Keep the toes pointed. On an inhale, three kicks in now with both heels to your glutes. Kick, kick, kick. And then exhale, extend the legs back, lift them off the ground, stretch your knuckles back to your heels, lift your heart, look forward. And then on your inhale, lower back down, rest opposite cheek, bend the elbows, hands to lower back, three kicks in, kick, kick kick, exhale, lift your heart, stretch knuckles back, lift your legs, left cheek back down, inhale, lowering, kick, 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 exhale, lift, stretch back, open that heart space, one more time, right cheek to ground, bend the elbows, kick in three times, kick, 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 and then stretch back, lift, Open up, stay here for three, hip heads press down, two, back of neck is long, one, and then release the hands, bring them underneath your shoulders, lower everything to the floor. Tuck your toes under as you breathe in, downward facing dog as you breathe out. Hips are up, chest is back, heels are down and ribs are in. Left leg on an inhale, lifts behind you. Exhale, step up to low lunge. Back leg is strong, belly is in, rise and lift, shoulders over hips, arms to sky. Land here, settle, crescent lunge. Bring your hands onto your hips. On a breath in, bend your back knee, dip down. On your exhale, push off back foot, straighten out your left leg, send your heart forward, and lift the back leg up. Ooh, this is tough for me today, for sure. <laughs> Rebend the left knee, ground the back foot, bend the back knee, dip down. Push off back foot, straighten front leg, lift back leg, squeeze the glute. Two more times, bend front knee, bend back knee, dip straight down. Take off. Let the heart reach forward, warrior three, or version of, right? <laughs> Last one, bend left knee, foot down, bend back knee, dip. Push off back foot, straighten front leg, lean into it, lift the back leg up. Rebend the left knee, take your back foot down, keep the leg straight, bring shoulders over hips, arms back up to sky, warrior, or not warrior, crescent lunge. Now warrior two, swivel your right heel in, open your hips to the right, walk your front foot to midline. Make sure the hips are level, shoulders are stacked, arms are swept out, shoulders drop down. You look your, past your left middle finger. Here's that little mini sequence here. On an inhale, straighten out your left leg. On your exhale, left hand forward, both hips back. Inhale, hinge down, right arm stacks over its shoulder, triangle pose. Exhale, pull the belly in very firm, stack shoulders back over hips, rebend the left knee, look forward again to that left middle finger. Again, breath in, straighten out the front leg. Exhale, hand forward as hips push back. Inhale, hinge down, triangle pose. Exhale, belly in, stack shoulders over hips, rebend the knee, look forward again, warrior two. Once more, inhale, straighten out the leg. Exhale, hand forward, hips back. Hinge down, inhale, triangle pose. Exhale, pull the belly in, shoulders over hips, rebend the left knee, warrior two. 
Inhale, front palm flips up as you reach up and back, reversing your warrior. On your exhale, windmill your hands down, lift up your back heel, low lunge. Low lunge, stepping up, forward fold. Halfway lift on an inhale. Release and let go, exhale. Come all the way to standing on an inhale, ground your feet and rise, stack tall, arms to sky. Keep the arms lifted, exhale, plug the shoulder heads into their sockets. Let's take the feet out wide to a little mini straddle. Toes will slightly externally rotate. Take a breath in, fingertips are high. On your exhale, bend the knees, bend the elbows, pull down to your goddess squat. Stack tall again, lengthen legs, lengthen arms, squeeze your glutes. Again, exhale, pull down into your goddess. Make sure as you do that your shoulders are still stacked right above your hips, that you're not leaning forward here. Straighten the legs, squeeze the glutes, extend the arms up. We'll do two more of these, pardon me. Exhale, bend knees, bend elbows, coming into your goddess squat. Good, stack tall again, breathe in. One more time, exhale, come into your goddess squat, stay here, spread those fingers. On an inhale, take your right heel, lift it off the ground, pop it over ball of foot. Exhale, let the heel release. Inhale, left heel pops up. Exhale, release. Inhale, the right heel pops up, keep it there. Exhale, the left heel also pops up. Inhale, the right heel down. Exhale, the left heel down. Inhale, left heel now comes up. Keep it there. Exhale, right heel pops up to meet. Left heel comes down. Right heel comes down. Now both heels, inhale, lift. Don't lose the positioning of your arms here, right? Exhale, heels come down. Ooh, a lot of leg work. Two more. Both heels up. Breath in. Breath out, ground them down with resistance. One more time, heels come high, stay here, pulse it down for five, good, four, oh yeah, three, <laughs> two, heart up, one, good, heels down, straighten legs, arms lower, feet come into parallel, take your hands to your hips, flat back, hinge forward, fold over the legs. Grab your elbows with opposite hands. Take a moment in a wide-legged rag doll. So letting your upper body become really heavy here. Maybe bend your knees a little bit so you can drape slightly in between the legs. Let your shoulders fall to your ears and you can offer movement here, gentle swaying if you'd like, or stillness if you would prefer. Wonderful. All right. If you were in movement, come naturally back into still. Release elbows, fingertips to the earth. Let's heel toe the feet back inward so they're hip width apart again. Halfway lift on an inhale. Plank position on the exhale. Hands down, step back to structure. Pull the heart forward just a little bit more on your inhale. Lower down to the ground. Exhale, untuck the toes. Let's extend the arms forward now. Forehead to the ground. Hip pads are your anchor. On an inhale, lift up your arms, head, heart, and legs. Let it float back down as you exhale. Again, breath in. Arms, head, heart, and legs all lift up. Try to keep your arms framing your ears. Release down on the exhale. Once more, breath in, lift up arms, head, heart, legs, stay here. Exhale, begin to paddle and then breathe accordingly. We're moving into swimming. Arms and legs are stiff like a board. Chest is up. Torso and head are very steady. For three, two, one, good. And then release. Slide your hands underneath your shoulders. Push back into a child's pose. Let's walk our legs together here so they're in close. As you sit back to your heels, arms can, 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 can continue to extend forward, or you can stretch them back to release your shoulders. As you breathe in, send it to your lower back. Exhale, dump it out. 
We'll do that a couple more times. Inhale, send it right down towards your tailbone. Pulling into the back body, exhale, let it go. One more time, big breath in. And then on your exhale, begin to slowly roll yourself back up, stacking your spine. From here, find a seated position right at the center of your workspace and extend your legs out long in front of you. Flex your feet, lift your toes to the sky, and step nice and tall, meaning your heart is up, your shoulder heads are back, your shoulder blades slide down towards your tailbone, and your belly is in and up. Let's extend the arms out in front of us, right in line with shoulders and hands are shoulder width apart. Sit a little bit taller with your next inhale. On your exhale, tuck your tailbone under, roll back just a bit and hold here. Take a breath in. On your exhale, take a twist to your right without your legs moving at all. Come back through center. So we're coming back to our waistline, those obliques. Exhale, rotation to the left. Make this movement start from waistline. Let the arms just be along for the ride, okay? Come back through center. Sometimes we tend to lead with arms. Let's roll back a little bit further. So it comes from our core. Exhale, again, waistline work over to the right. Arms gently follow. Center on an inhale. Keep those legs anchored and strong. Take it over to the left. Squeeze that breath out. Come back through center, pause, roll back a little bit more. Make sure the shoulders are dropped from your ears and your heart's still lifted. Exhale, back over to the right. Come through center on an inhale. Take it over to the left, push that air out. Come back through center. Let's do one more. So coming back a little bit further, maybe a lot further, maybe you really want to fire it up. On your exhale, rotate to the right. If you're really down low, the twists aren't all that big, okay, to support it. Come back through center. Take it over to the left. Squeeze it out. Good. Come back through center. And then slowly roll all the way down onto your mat. Let's scooch forward here. Good. Draw the right knee into your chest. Place both hands onto that knee and just hug the leg into the body. Stretch the glute and lower back. Release that leg, lengthen it out. Left knee pulls in, both hands hold on. Give it a little hug. Draw the shoulders away from your ears. Good, go ahead, keep that left leg pulled in. Go ahead, begin to hover your right leg off the ground. Pointed toes. If you want a little bit more modified, you're gonna take your leg up higher than a hover, okay? So find a level that will work for you. You can keep your head grounded with this or take the head, neck, and shoulders off the ground for more heat. With an inhale, switch your legs, right knee in, left leg long, and then exhale to switch. One breath, one movement, inhale, hand switch, exhale, switch again. So each time you hold the knee, give it a little hug in to get a stretch while you strengthen your core. If you do want even more than this, hands behind the head. Now we're removing that little squeeze, but we're working abs even more to support this movement. One breath, one movement. Four more cycles of inhales, exhales. Good, make sure the legs are moving like pistons rather than a bicycle motion, right? No circular here, just straight in, straight out, or up, right? Depending upon the angle of your legs. Couple more rounds of breath. Inhale. Exhale. One more time. Inhale. Exhale. Good. Then both knees in. Let the head rest if it were lifted. Hands on your knees. Rock gently side to side. Recovered. Good. Let's hold the right knee again with both hands and stretch the left leg long to the ground. Right arm extends out to its side. Root the shoulder in. And then take that right leg guided across. The body over to the left as you look over right shoulder, a spinal twist. Good, take one more inhale here. Exhale, firm in your belly, unwind yourself, come back through center and let that leg stretch out long. Left knee pulls in, both hands hold. Left arm comes out to T. Take the leg over to your right side as you look over your left shoulder. Rotation here. Keep the back of that left shoulder plugged to the ground. Breathe deeply. Nice inhales and exhales. Good. 
Good. One more breath in. Firm it up. Exhale. Come unwind. Back to center. Keep the left knee in. Pull the right leg in to meet it. Both hands on either knee. Begin to rock yourself once again. Forward and back. Up and down the spine, use your abdominal strength to bring yourself all the way up to seated, crossing your legs. Grounding your sits bones into the earth, lifting your heart nice and high, resting your arms either on your lap or down beside you. Shoulders drop away from the ears, eyes close. We're going to take this uh, kind of brief moment here, or a few moments rather, to come into like a seated Shavasana. So come back to your breath again. Focusing on the inhales and the exhales. Maybe you notice some different sensations in your body since we just worked it. Where is there heat or pulsation or tingling or twitching, right? Muscles. What areas of the body can you soften here in this space? Slightly part your teeth, unhinging the jaw. Softening the space between the eyebrows. Letting the tongue fall away from the roof of your mouth. Stillness. Connection to self. The mind loves to wander here the most. And while we can't stop our mind from these thoughts, right, creating them, what we can do is acknowledge it, the thought, but also let go of it. And we do that by coming back to either our, our breath or sound. the space of stillness, begin to just slowly take one hand to your heart, one hand to your belly. This moment of connection. Feel the belly move due to your breath. Feel the beating of your own heart. With this connection, take this time also to thank yourself that you took the time in your day to be here, to show up, like the mat, to show up to the work, but most importantly, that you showed up for yourself. It gave your body, mind, and soul opportunity of breath, movement, and connection. Begin to take both hands together to your heart center, press the thumb knuckles lightly to your sternum and bring the chin down to the chest, bow head to heart, heart to head. Give yourself the time for self-care, right? Because we are given only one body, so it's important we listen to it, honor it, and respect it. I hope everyone enjoys the rest of their Thursday. Thank you always for joining me with Facebook Live, and I'll see you all again very soon. Namaste.